Good morning, everyone. Morning. We're starting our day at Grandma's place uh, in Pratuap Kirikan. It's our last full day in this town. Uh, we're probably going to have a quiet day, beach day, but we're going to take you with us because we have something special to show you, some special beach around here. It's absolutely beautiful. But before that, let me show you what's coming up in this vlog. Cheers. Careful, man. Yeah. Oh, this is a big one. It, it's so beautiful around here, honestly. I did not expect that. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. journey. Woo! So stay with us after breakfast, you come into the beach. Let's go. So before we move anywhere else, I would like to point it out the difference in prices in here. So I had Americano, which was 40 baht, then I have two soft boiled eggs and toast with jam and butter and that's 40 baht only it's really good prices here so i'm having a lovely breakfast our favorite soft boiled eggs for less than 100 baht it's another windy day today i'm actually wearing long trousers and a sweater as well because it's freezing <laughs> So, as you can see behind me, there is this massive temple up on the hill here, but there's one good reason we're not going up here. Uh, if you know this area, it's full of macaques, and Diggy is petrified of macaque monkeys, and this place is full of them, I mean hundreds. They're all around us now, so we're not gonna hang about, we're gonna get going. So now we're taking you to a really nice beach, which is in Prochap Kirikan town. But the only issue is, is that it's on an active airbase. So we have to have our passports, or at least a picture of our passport, and we have to sign in. And you're not actually meant to record in here. But I think there's one part of the beach that's slightly more public, will allow us to. So hopefully we'll show you some of it. But one part, no photos, no cameras. It's just not allowed, because the whole area is an airbase. And the problem is the nicest part of the beach it's the one where you can record or even take pictures and let me tell you it looks like paradise in there it's absolutely amazing one of the nicest beaches i've ever seen so if you want to see it you'll have to come for yourself yeah. and <laughs> also there is a massive tree where is a lot of cute monkeys there mm. but the nice ones what are they called uh dusky dusky yeah. leaf monkeys yeah the yeah. black ones the with the white ones. rings around their mm. eyes yeah, yeah. But they're friendly, they're not like these macaques that we just showed you a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. And also, when you're here, when you go to the more private beach over there, we're not allowed to take photos, there are a troop of monkeys. They're the dusty, dusty monkeys. And they're really, they're so cool. But one top tip, is bring some bananas and fruit with you because they don't sell banana and fruits here. You can get some peanuts, but it's more expensive here. So bring some fruit with you. And to find it, all you gotta do is put in Monkey Monument into the Google Map location and you'll see it. It's right on the other beach. Definitely, definitely go and check it out. These ones are so cool and they're not angry like the macaques. You'll see in the video. So yeah, definitely go and check that out this beach come grab a drink and then go and see the monkeys 
We're back to feed the monkeys. I got my bananas. But these things are so cool. Check it out. What have you got? Are you coming down me? There you go, little man. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Take it. It's too big for his hands, really. Yeah, he's got it. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, wow, so cute. Big one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, he touched! He touched! He touched me! <laughs> Big co <cold> cutie! <laughs> oh. <laughs> amazing wasn't it it's so cool they're right yeah. behind us now <laughs> yeah they are so polite they're literally waiting in the queue one by one coming to get the peanuts and there was one carrying the baby so basically the somebody else took the baby off her and then she could come down to get some peanuts so cute they are so polite and so gentle as well aren't they because i had like a whole bag in my mm -hmm. hand and he's waiting for me to take one yeah. and pass it to him you wouldn't come well, and snatch the bag no one no. by one some of them wanted two peanuts some of them wanted three peanuts <laughs> so they never put their hand in the bag they just went in they just like basically if you didn't give them peanuts they just waited with their hand out <laughs> honestly it was worth coming to prachuap kiri khan just for this experience. Don't get me wrong, Prachuapkiri Khan is amazing and beautiful, but this is just amazing. Because Diggies petrify their monkeys, uh, so yeah. at least with these ones, you're okay they're with so these ones. They're so cute, they're so <laughs> gentle. The hands were so soft. Oh, I love them. That was, that's the best thing ever. <laughs> Let's go. So this is Almanau Beach. It's really quite nice. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's flat. So don't worry about what this looks like now. This only lasts for about 10 days and this will look beautiful. But again, there's two bays to Almanau. We're on the more public one. Whoa! <laughs> and here, there's two food centers, like little food courts. There's public toilets you can use as well. So everything you need is here. It's just the second beach where the airstrip is. It's not really so public. You're not allowed to swim. Um, you're not allowed to sunbathe. You're not allowed to take video. You're not allowed to take pictures. So this is the one public one. Um, chairs, they cost you 20 baht to hire a chair each, which is not too bad. That will be for the whole day, 24 hours, however long you want. But no, this is really nice. Really cool. I like it. It's a lot quieter than the other beaches and the main beach in Prachuap Kirikan isn't quite as nice as this one. So yeah, definitely come here and check it out. But definitely the other beach is beautiful. But you've got to come here yourself to see that one because no video. Now we're just going to quickly drive through the town to show you how cute it is. We came just to the local restaurant for some food. We ordered Pat Kapow Gai, Kai Dao, Pet Neat Noi. What else do you want to say? We also, we got some prawns. 
Oh yeah. With sweet and sour sauce as well. Mm. And it's quite funny though because as soon as we walked in, they didn't have all the menus out in English. So we asked for Pad Kapow and they just started giggling. Because I think every foreigner always knows Pad Kapow. Yeah. So it's an easy one. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's not spicy enough. We did say pet meat, no, but it's not spicy enough. So I just got myself here, you know, and chilies, fish sauce. So I'm just gonna chuck some of that on my on my food. And let's try it now. Oh yeah. Yeah, the chilies in this aren't too hot. I just mm. ate a whole one. I think it's a bigger chili. So the bigger they get, the less heat they have in them apparently. Yeah, the spicy they are, so, yeah. Yeah, could have a bit more spicy. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think of Pachuap Kirikan? For me, I really like the place. Mm. It's The food is good, the food is cheap. The whole area is really nice as well. It's so quiet as well. Not quite quiet, but you can't... There's not people. There's bars, there's restaurants. Mm. Uh, the beach side mm. is nice. Oh, Kapun Kapunkar. Prawns in sweet sour sauce. Carry on then. Mm. <laughs> so that's what I was saying. It's not too quiet. There's everything you need here. But it's just not that massive hustle and bustle. There's no one rushing. Everyone mm. drives really slowly. <laughs> it's not what I've experienced in Thailand so far. Mm -mm. With yeah, traffic, the actual whole area. And it's beautiful here. It's nice and quiet. Everyone drives really slowly here. Nobody's rushing anywhere. Um, it's just like, as soon as we arrived, we were just like calm, chill, relax. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's total different vibe to anywhere else we've been in Thailand. It makes you slow so down. It it does. Yeah. It makes you slow down. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say, there seems to be a lot of um, maybe retirees or mm -hmm. older generation mm -hmm. here. So it seems to be a lot of. It's not a young person's place, really, is no. it? But. If you want decent coffee, there's some amazing coffee oh, yes. shops here. I mean, really nice. Grandma's house we were keep going to. Mm -hmm. That's not the only one, but we liked it so much over there that, that that's where we were keep going. This coffee is really good around this area, around um, Praia Chap Kirikan and just below in Champon. They have mm. really good, robusta coffee. So, yeah, if you like your coffee, I'm no expert. This place has some really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff. What I love about this area, Praia Chap Kirikan, is I was actually shocked about about the beauty of this place. It, it's so beautiful around here, honestly. I did not expect that. I knew there is in a town that there is a um, temple surrounded by monkeys. I knew there is a beach. I knew uh, that we're going to the cave because um, I always wanted to go there. But it's just everything around it. The old town of Prachuap Kirikan is so cute. It's not really old town, it's like street but it's just it has like really nice charm of like an old town i just love it mm. it's so beautiful and just a re relaxed atmosphere the almanau beach the monkeys the monkeys <laughs> i think actually guys that if you don't want to go to the cave or whatever see what we've done in here just come here for the monkeys because that is experience you will never ever get anywhere else before oh, or anywhere else before so mm. yeah I just want to point out with those monkeys as well, mm. it's not a tourist attraction. They're not put there for tourists. They actually, during the night, they disappear back up into the mountain. Mm. They only come down to the beach during the day. And sometimes they're not even there during the day. So it's not a gimmick. It's not something that, there wasn't loads of tourists there. It was only just us two there. Mm. So it's not like those people surrounding them and annoying them and no. everything. They were just there. If you're lucky to see them, make sure you bring some bananas or some fruit. Mm. If you're lucky enough, yeah, hold your hand out, they'll see what you're doing and they'll come down to you. Yeah. Don't shout at them, just mm. hold the food up, they'll find you. Yeah, so, Prachu of Kirikan, you were absolutely amazing, you've blown our minds. Yeah. I'm just really surprised. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Mm. We didn't expect that. We thought it was going to be nothing to do in here. And it, it was just wow. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying to the end because that always means a lot if you do. If you do, if you did stay to the end, let us know down in the comments. It would be nice to know who actually watches the videos. 
And if you've been here end. before, <laughs> let us know if you've been here before. Oh, yeah. And if you enjoyed it, mm. what was your favorite bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But thank you. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Our next one is going to be a new destination. So keep oh, yeah. watching. Bye. <laughs>